morning guys uh, evening to you people watching at night we get told to get watched a lot at night so hello um, anyway today we're going to be talking about a species more common down south uh, not really something we're going to find up here so what I'm telling you is what I get told um, personally I haven't actually caught one of these it's high up on my list so anyway the red Roman otherwise known as the Roman um, that's actually the name comes from Similar to a lot of other things, original Afrikaans name was Roy Man. Now Roy Man being Red Man. And the people that caught on from that, that weren't actually listening when someone said I called a Roy Man, heard Roman. And that's where it's got its name from. Red Roman, Roman, that's the name. Um, scientific name, Cry Chrysoblephus laticeps. That comes from Chrysoblephus is a very big, very big genus. It uh, means golden eye. So all those fish that you see with it, not all of them, but all of them with the, the, the gold eye, the more snapper-like kind of species you're going to get, that's part of the Chrysoblephus. Uh, Laticeps means broad head. So it's that across the eye section, very, very broad. He's a chunky fish. He's got quite a... He's not the most attractive fish in the world, but he's got this sort of little bit of a protruding type jaw to him. Reddish color, white band almost in the middle, but kind of like someone half painted it, half didn't. Um, but yeah, but yeah, he's a he's a very pretty fish um, in his own right. He's got a reddy color to him, but that's because mo a lot of reef fish do have red to them because it's the first color that disappears. So as you go deeper down, that red actually disappears into the background completely. Now, this is another endemic species, like we mentioned. Endemic means only found in this area. Um, so it's our responsibility to, to keep them safe and you're going to get them all the way from Namibia up to Port St. John's but they're quite rare on that west coast area they're really more that Cape Town, Southern Cape, that kind of, that kind of area um, now when it comes to catching them um, they're resident species, they like sitting on the reef from shallow all the way down to about 100 meters so it's really one of those species that you can catch from the side um, with the Cape, it's not like up here in Natal where you've got these long shallow areas, that's more of the beach type stuff, but the rocky areas you're getting, you're going straight down into deep water, 20 meters, so you, everyone has access to these fish. Um, so it is something that, that a lot of people have encountered. If you fish down there, most of the guys have either, they're very popular spear fishing fish because they, they're quite inquisitive. They're popular with the ski boat guys and they're popular with the shore based guys. Now, in terms of what they're eating, your echinoderms, so your starfish and kind of stuff, your cephalopods, your squid, your um, octopus, that kind of thing, and then your smaller fish. They're not really a fish based uh, species, they're not, that's not their main target, they're more of the slower species, they're not actively hunting. So, Maximum size, you're looking at about 17 years, similar to a lot of reef fish, they are, do grow to quite old. And that's going to be yeah, 17, 17 to 19 years, you can say, they're, they're thereabouts. It's a fish that they get to about four and a half kilos and a length of about 50 centimeters. So most of the, species, most of the guys you're going to catch are going to be a lot smaller than that. Say a two kilo fish is considered quite a good, quite a good red roman. Um, as we mentioned, everything from 100 meters shallow, so they are caught by the deep uh, offshore guys, they're caught by the shallow water guys, they're caught by the guys fishing on the, from the side, and they are caught um, or speared by the spear fishermen. It's probably one of the most, most targeted species other than Kaoyun uh, down in the Cape. Now, they, they don't move a lot. They, they generally like to stay where they are, and that's called residency. They, they, they like to reside in one area. And that means your MPAs are extremely effective for them. Because they're living in one, one little spot, an MPA really, really helps to protect that area, makes it a, a safe haven where they can go to and where the population can grow and then spill over into the adjacent spots. Now, so obviously Dewarp is, is very big for them. It's, it's a good spot for them to live. That being a protected area, it's just, it, it's one of the main marine protected areas we need to, to keep going, keep supporting. Now, they do mature very quickly. Um, they get up to the, the, the stage where they can breed very quickly, that's what that means. So they do 
handle angling pressure a lot better than, than some of your other species. So it is a species that we do recommend targeting. If you are going to keep a fish, a red roman is not a bad fish to keep. You can bry them, you can grill them, you can fry them. They are very nice eating fish. They do grow very quickly, so it's something that can absorb that angling pressure quite nicely. So yeah, the red roman, the royman, what, uh, whatever you call it, it's a species that's worth targeting, worth keeping one or two, but do limit your catch, don't catch your limit. And yeah, the red roman. Cheers, guys.